Hi, and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Kids, have you heard that once upon a time, a cow jumped over the moon? Well, right after that happened, scientists discovered that the moon is made of cheese. And cheese people are living up there. Who are these cheese people? They are cute little kids made out of, come on, say it, cheese. Every kind of cheese that you can imagine. This is the story of Noah Gooda, a little cheese boy with a great big dream. Buckle up, wink, wink, ooey, gooey, looey. Go Cheese Racer. Written by Cheryl De Vega. Remember to get your copy of this book and the rest of Cheryl's books. Please check the links in the description at the bottom of this video. Let's meet the racers. Noah Gooder, the dreamer. Mac and Cheese, the fluffy toughy. Blue, the crack mechanic and true blue friend. Gorgonzilla, monstrous. Lester Limburger, mean and stinky. Betty Cheddar, bold and fearless. And Hank the Hunk, hunky and funky. Noah Gooder dreamed of becoming a race car driver. More than anything, he wanted to compete in the moon's biggest cheese car race event, the Great Armunican Grand Brie. It was still a year away, but that was just enough time for Noah and his best friend Blue to build their race car and for Noah to practice driving. Noah and Blue worked day and night in the cottage garage. Together, they built their cheesy car with cheese wheels and a grilled cheese grill. Blue became the head cheese mechanic. I'm building the most powerful cheese engine ever, he told Noah. And I, Noah declared, will be the moon's best race car driver. After all, I practice every day on my cheese racer video game. We are a winning team! They howled and high-fived each other. Finally, their race car was ready. Noah and Blue painted it with bright orange Munster cheese, and it gleamed. What a dream, they agreed, staring at their creation. Let's call it the Munster Munster, Blue said laughing. Now for a test run, Noah said, grabbing his goggles. He lowered his little cheese body into the car. Oh no! He wailed. Oh no, Noah! cried Blue. Noah's feet dangled above the pedals. He was too small to reach them. Noah and Blue felt their cheesy dreams melting away. What's the matter? laughed Lester Limburger as he whizzed in his cheese racer. Are your cheese stick legs a little short? That's Noah Gooder. Ha ha! That's a stinky thing to say, Limburger, Blue yelled. Don't listen to that old moldy kid, said Blue. There must be a way to make your legs longer. They glued moon rocks to Noah's feet. Nope, too slippery. They attached chunks of hard cheese to the petals. Nope, too sticky. They tied Noah's feet with string cheese. Snap. Nope, too stretchy. I'm sorry, Noah, said Blue. I'm out of ideas. Oh, me too, sighed Noah. Month after month, Noah kept practicing his video game driving. Blue waxed and polished the car every day. Race day was approaching. I'm so sad we won't be part of it, said Noah. Well, at least we can pretend to be in the race, said Blue. He fired up the engine. Come on, get in, Noah. Noah slipped into the driver's seat and suddenly shrieked, Blue, my feet are touching the pedals. Holy Swiss cheese, exclaimed Blue. You grew. You're almost a year older than when we started. Yippee, cried Noah. I've aged. They sped to the racetrack. We're in, screamed the delighted Noah. We were the last contestants to enter the race. Buckle up, Blue. Let's practice. They drove around the track and around and around. They went faster and faster. When race day came, no one blew were nervous, but ready. 
cheeses, start your engines. The announcer boomed. All the big cheeses were there. Hank the Hunk, Betty Cheddar, Mac and Cheese, Gorgonzilla, and Lester Limburger. And there was Noah sitting tall in the Munster Munster. Go, cheese racers! The crowd shouted. On your mark, get set! Swissy the starter waved the green cheese flag. Go! And the race was on. Lester whizzed past Noah, engines squealing and tires screeching. Patience, Noah told himself, remaining steady, waiting to make his move. Lester made a sharp turn and his cheese wheels shredded. He was out of the race. Noah stayed calm. Gorgonzilla took over the lead but hit the wall and crumbled. Mac and Cheese skidded on Betty Cheddar's tire tracks and got creamed. Hank the Hunk's engine smoked. He fell behind. It was Betty Cheddar and the Munster Munster heading for the finish line. Betty Cheddar made a move on the curb and pulled ahead of Noah. But Noah knew the superpower of Blue's engine. The moment they hit the straightaway, he slammed the pedal down and zoom! The monster monster rocketed past Betty and across the finish line. The checkered flag waved. Noah Gooder in the monster monster, the winner, came over the loudspeaker. The crowd roared. Noah pulled into the pit. You did it, yelled Blue. We did it cried Noah, the winning team. It sounds cheesy, but they were over the moon with gratefulness. And that's the story of race car star Noah Gooder. According to Ooey Gooey Louie, it could happen, you know, once in a blue moon. Are you ready to listen to some fun facts from Biff Bambooza? Despite some old folklore and Ooey Gooey Louie's wild imagination, the moon is not really made of cheese. The moon is made of rock and metal. It's like a giant space rock spinning in the sky. The moon's surface is covered in regolith, which is a fancy word for moon dust. Imagine a super-sized sandbox in the sky. The moon is like a giant bounce house. Its gravity doesn't pull on you as hard as Earth's. So if you went there, you could jump super high, way higher than you can here. Doesn't that sound like a blast? To visit the moon, you need to train to be an astronaut. Scientists believe the moon was formed billions of years ago when a giant rock crashed into Earth. The Earth and moon have been best buddies ever since. So kids, I hope you enjoyed this story. For more titles, giggles and sing-along songs, head over to biffbamboozer.com. The links will be available in the description at the bottom of this video. I'll see you soon in another adventure. Bye for now.